Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw the Ultimate Warrior from the WWE. Let's get started at the top of our page with the eyes. So we move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve in and then down. Now let's leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So line up the inside of the eye, curving up and then out. From the inside of the eyelid, we're going to draw a curve going in and then up towards the center point. So we'll start on the left, curve in and up towards the middle, then we'll curve back down towards the right side. Now we're going to go back to the inside of the eyelid and curve in the opposite direction. Starting on the left, we'll curve in and then down, and then we'll go up towards the right. Now we're just going to fill this area in black. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So it's a half circle. Starting from the outside, we're going to step in to create an overlap. Draw on the bottom of the circle, going up towards the inside of the eyelid. Let's do the same thing on the right. On the left side of each eye, we're going to draw a small circle for a highlight. Starting on the left, let's work our way around, and then back up towards the top. We're going to line this up on the right side. Now in the center of the eye, we're going to draw a small circle for the pupil. We're going to tuck this in behind the highlight. So starting at the bottom of the highlight, curve around, then back in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to fill the pupils in black. Now let's go back to the center and draw on the nose. We're going to step down. Starting from the left, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right. Now we're going to draw a straight angled line going in towards the inside of the eye, going up and out. Let's continue working down with the mouth. So below the nose, we're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve down, and then back up. We're going to draw the sides of the mouth, we're going to curve this out and down. Now let's connect these two points with a curve going in the opposite direction. We're going to go up, and then back down on the right side. Let's add in some teeth. About halfway down the side of the mouth, we're gonna draw a straight line going across to right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And we just wanna cross this like a T. Right in the middle, we'll come straight down. And we're gonna fill the outside corners in black. Directly below the mouth, we're gonna add the lower lip. We're gonna start on the left side and draw a straight line going across. Let's go back up to the nose and draw in the nostril. On the left side of the nose, we're going to curve out and then up and in. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I just want to give them a little bit of a frown line. Starting at the top of the nose, curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's move to the side and draw the cheeks coming down toward the chin. So on the side of the eye, we're going to step out. We're going to bump out the cheek. Curve down and in towards the chin. And we're going to work our way back up towards the right side. Going out, rounding out the cheek, and then just beside the right eye. We're going to continue working up towards the top of the head. Starting on the left, we're going to bump out the side of the head, and then just curve that into right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Bumping this out, and curving in towards the same height. Now from here, we're going to curve in, and then down towards the center point. So we're going to go across, and then down. Now we're gonna go in and add some face paint. Start from the inside edge of the left eye. We're gonna curve out, round it out, and then just pull that in towards the chin. Let's go back up to the top, just underneath the eye. We're gonna curve this out and then down. And then we'll go up towards the side of the eye on the top here. We're just gonna curve out and down towards that bottom point. Go out and then down. Let's fill in these areas in black. Now 
Now going back up towards the eye, on the inside we're going to draw a curve going in and up just to accentuate the brow. Starting up here, we're going to curve in and up with a short curve. We're going to go back up towards the top of the widow's peak. We're going to draw two angle lines coming down and out towards the sides. We're going to follow the same curve of the eyelid going out towards the side of the head. We'll start on the left side, we're going to go up and then back down. Let's trim this out on the inside. Start from the top, we'll step down. Start with that point. We're going to angle down and out. We're going to follow that same curve going out towards the side of the head. Now that we complete the head, let's draw in the hair. So we start just above the hairline on the left side. Starting up here, we're going to curve up and then down on the right side. So we'll start up here, we'll curve up, and then just start to pull that down towards the side of the head to right about there. Now we'll draw on the left side of the hair. We're gonna step up towards the top, curve up, and then down towards the left side towards the same height that we have on the right. Let's add some texture to the hair. Starting from the center point, curve up and over towards the right. Step over and draw a shorter curve going out. Now we're gonna go to this corner and just curve over. Let's move over to the left side. Right up here, we're going to draw another curve going up and over towards the right. Then we're going to step over towards this corner and curve in the opposite direction, going up and then out. Now we're going to layer the side of the hair on top. So from this point, we're going to step in and up, curve down over that line, round out the hair, and then just pull that in. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Stepping up and in, curve down over that line, round out the side of the hair, and then just pull that in. Now we're going to close off the bottom of the hair with a couple spikes. From the bottom, we're going to curve this up and then in. And we're going to curve this back down and in towards the center. And we'll pull this back up underneath the head, going straight up and then just hooking that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by curving this around and in. We'll hook this down. And we're going to go up and in behind the head. Now we're going to add some texture to the side of the hair. Starting just above the cheek, right up here we're going to curve down and out, and we'll just hook that back down. Let's line this up on the right, we're going to come down and out, and then hook that back down. Let's add in the lower earlobe. Starting about halfway along this curve, come down and in behind the head. We're going to move up and just draw one more curve coming down. Starting at the top, curve out, and then down. The same thing on the right. Now that we completed the head, let's work our way down the body. We're going to start with the sides of the body. So on the side of the chin, we're going to step down. On the left side, we're going to curve out and then down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right, curve this out and then down. Let's connect these two points with a curve coming down the middle and then back up. Now about halfway down the body, we're going to add the edge of the chest. Starting on the left, we'll curve up and then down. Now directly below the chin, we we'll draw a short line coming down. Now let's continue working down with the legs. In the center, we're going to step down towards the lower torso, start with a point. From this point, I'm going to curve out and then down. Do the same thing on the right, curving out and then down to the same height. Now we want to round out the bottom of the tassels. Starting from the inside, we're going to curve down and then back up towards the outside. Do the same thing on the right. And then from here, we're going to curve up and in towards the knee. Starting up here, we're going to curve up and then in. Do the same thing on the right. And we're going to pull this back in towards the inside of the leg. Starting on the left, we'll curve down and then up. Let's go back up to the hip and draw on the side of the leg. Starting on the left hip, we're going to curve this out then down towards the outside point. Do the same thing on the right. We're going to add the edge of the shorts. Starting from that center point, we're going to curve this up and out towards the left hip. Go back to the center and curve up and out towards the right hip. Let's draw on the knee pad. Starting from the corner of the knee, we're going to go up and then down. It's like drawing a half circle. Do the same thing 
on the right side. Now I just want to draw a little strap. Stepping up from this line, curve down and in. Now let's go back down and draw on the feet. From that bottom corner, we're gonna step out, draw a straight line coming down towards the heel on the left and right. Now let's round out the bottom of the foot. So we're gonna extend this curve going past this point. Come down and then up. From the toe, we're gonna to curve the top of the foot going in underneath the tassel. We're gonna leave a little bit of an overlap on the outside corner. And let's go back down and thicken up the sole. Taking this curve, we're gonna step up. We're just gonna duplicate that. Now we wanna separate out the tassels with a series of curves. Starting from the top, we're gonna to curve this out and then down. We're gonna leave a gap, curve out and down. Just continue this all the way towards the inside of the leg. Now let's do the same thing on the right. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. We're gonna start about halfway down the side of the body. So right up here, we're gonna draw the inside of the arm, curving out and then down towards the wrist. Now let's go back to the left side and draw on the thumb. This is a half circle going around. At the end of the thumb, we'll draw a small bracket. At the bottom of the thumb, we're gonna curve down and then up around that bracket. Then we we'll step down and add two more fingers. Curve down and up the second finger. Now the third finger, we're just going to go around, go up the arm, we're going to stop right about here. Let's do the same thing on the right. And again, the third finger, we're going to go all the way around and up to the same height that we have on the left. From this point, we're going to draw a curve coming in and down towards the inside of the arm. Right about there. Now let's round out the shoulder. Start from this top point, we're gonna go up and curve that in behind the head. Let's thicken up the armband. So from here, we're gonna step down, draw a curve coming in on both sides. Let's add in some wristbands. From the inside of the wrist, we curve down and then back up. We'll step up, I'm just gonna trace that same curve going in towards the inside of the arm. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is add the tassels coming down from the strap in behind the arm. So we're gonna start on the inside of the arm, right from the top of the strap, curve down, all the way down to there. Do the same thing on the right. Just going in between the thumb and the body. Now we're just gonna curve up and out. Now I'm just going to pull this back up underneath the hand, going straight up on both sides. Now we're going to separate out the tassels. Starting from the inside, we're going to draw two curves going up. Starting from the inside, we're going to go up in behind the finger, and we'll see a little bit of it in between the arm and the body, and go back out and do the same thing. Let's go to the right and do the same. Going up in behind the hand, move out, draw the same curve. You see a little bit of it along the top, and that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the Ultimate Warrior from the WWE. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.